Peggy 3. Hello and welcome to today's FM Friday feature blog for Football Manager 2014. This week's blog will focus on the many tech advances we've made for FM14, which should have a major impact on the different ways you can enjoy playing the game. Before I go into that though, we're pleased to announce that we've now set a release date for Football Manager 2014 on PC, Mac and Linux of Thursday, October the 31st. However, if you don't want to wait that long, you can pre-order the game from one of our participating retailers found at www.footballmanager.com and you'll receive access to a beta version of the game around two weeks prior to the release date. The beta version is a pre-release copy of the game that's close to the final release version. What's even better is that you can carry on the career you start in the beta when you get your full copy. We look forward to your feedback on the beta so that we can improve things right up to the game's release. So what tech advances have we put into Football Manager 2014? Well, firstly, we're releasing the game on Linux for the first time. This means you'll be able to play the game on Ubuntu 12.04 LTS or higher via Steam as long as your device has a keyboard and mouse. The Linux version will come in the same package as the PC and Mac version, whether bought as a DVD or digitally, and is fully cross-compatible with the PC and Mac, so you can switch between machines at your leisure. This brings me onto another landmark for Football Manager, the ability to save your game online, or, as it's known, the cloud. This means you'll be able to continue your career on any PC, Mac or Linux machine worldwide, as long as they meet the minimum specs, and by simply logging into your Steam account, installing the game and downloading your cloud save. This puts an end to having to wait until you're home to carry on your career. You can simply switch on, log in, download and you're playing as long as you've saved it to Steam's cloud system. Another new feature included in FM14 is the integration of Steam Workshop. Steam Workshop allows fans to create their own content and share it with friends and other gamers, so it's perfectly suited to FM as our game already allows fans to create this type of content. Steam Workshop now takes that to another level, so it's not only easier to create and share content, but fans will also be able to make completely unique FM experiences to share with the community. So what exactly will this allow fans to create and share? Firstly, there are options to customise the way your game looks, such as bespoke game skins and graphics. As well as how the game looks, you can also customise and share bespoke databases, which will include the ability to create and share additional leagues and nations, customise competitions, and, for classic mode fans, there'll also be a challenge editor, so fans can create and share their own unique challenges. There should be a wealth to download and enjoy, for free, via Steam Workshop. There are lots of other things we've added to FM this year that will allow everyone to enjoy FM to its fullest. One of these is the new Zoom In Zoom Out feature, or Zizo, which allows people to scale the user interface so that on higher resolution displays, which are becoming more common, there is the option to not only increase the size of the window and have extra panels, which Adaptive Layout added a couple of years ago to the series, but also increase the size of the fonts and graphics within. The zoom in zoom out feature is ideal for anyone with visual impairments and benefits anyone who wants to set the exact scale and size of the game's user interface to suit them. Also used alongside Steam's big picture mode, it's ideal for anyone who wants to play FM on a TV screen. This feature will also come into its own on the newer Macintosh machines with high resolution retina displays and, on that subject, we've also included native full screen mode for the Mac operating system in FM 2014. Sharing your Football Manager moments has also been taken to the next level, with improvements to the YouTube export feature now allowing fans to upload a custom highlights package showing goals from multiple camera angles. As well as these features, there's been widespread optimization throughout the game, which means that everything should be faster and better performing, including faster searches and player staff filtering. Hopefully this gives you a bit more of an insight into the new tech additions for FM14. Some are really big advances for the series, some are smaller, but equally nice. All of them are designed to make your FM experience more engaging, fun and immersive. We hope you enjoy them. To find out what's new for FM14 on a daily basis, be sure to check both the FM Twitter feed, at Football Manager, and my own, at MilesSI account, between now and the release of the game. 